Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So I know a lot of the newer Creality printers have been shipping with the 32-bit boards instead of the old 8-bit boards. So I went ahead and picked up a new Ender 3 Pro. It has the 422 board in it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk through some of the upgrade processes and everything like that for you guys. I'm going to do a video today going over how to just do a standard firmware update with the stock one from Creality. Uh, I'll do a video coming up on how to connect the BL Touch to it. And then I'll do another video on how to to create a custom firmware for it as well. It's going to be a little bit different than the old board, um, kind of similar to the SKR Mini, but there are some config changes you need to make. I know a lot of you guys have these boards and have been asking about it, uh, so I figured it makes sense to go ahead and pick one up so I can try to help you guys out more. All right, so like I said, today we're going to go through the uh, standard firmware upgrade process for the pre-compiled Creality firmware. All right, so first thing I want to do is uh, show you how to get the actual board that you have and then we'll take a look at the interface. I'll show you what version we're on right now. Then we'll jump over to the computer. I'll walk you through getting the firmware package and I'll move it to the SD card. And then I'll walk you through actually upgrading the firmware on the printer at the end and then showing the new version. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to leave a comment below or join our Discord channel. Uh, link to that will be below as well. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks. All right, so like I said, the first thing we want to do is get the board that we have. Um, here's an example of the old 8-bit board. If you look right here, you can see that it was the 1.1.4 board. But we need to actually open this up to get the exact version. Um, if you have the Ender 3 Pro, you're probably going to have the 4.2.2. If you have the Ender 3 V2, you're probably going to have the 4.2.7. Um, but I just like to make sure. So let me go ahead and take this off. And then we got to kind of remove this top screw here. And then there's going to be three screws on the bottom. I will make a note that you don't necessarily have to do this. I'm just doing it because I'm on camera now and I'm trying to show you. But I'll show you in a second here. If you look closely through the vent here, uh, you'll be able to actually see the board version. I can clearly see that it's a 422, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off just to show you really quick. All right, so I went ahead and finished taking the cover off um, and zoomed in a little bit. You can see here, uh, version is 4.2.2. That's where you'll be looking. Um, I haven't found a way to get it out of the interface. If anybody does know of one, uh, feel free to reach out and let me know so I can let other people know. Um, but worst case, like I said, you can see it through the vents or you can just take off this panel, get the version, and then that's all you need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together off camera and then we'll move forward. All right, so we're here at the Creality download site. Uh, we wanna go in and get the firmware package that matches the printer and the board that you're using. Uh, so with the Ender 3 Pro that we're using, uh, it has a 4.2.2 board. So we'll go down to uh, Ender 3 Pro, and then we want to get uh, the 4.2.2 board. So you can see here, you got the old 8-bit boards, uh, the 4.2.7 silent board, and then the 4.2.2 board, which is what we have. So I'm going to download that. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to our folder where that's at. And we want to just extract it. All right, once that's extracted, we'll go into the folder and we'll get the firmware that we need. Uh, this explanation.txt makes no sense because it's not a text file. Um, but we're gonna to wanna to get the original version. If we had the BL Touch, which we'll go over in a upcoming video, we'll need to use one of these or build custom firmware. For now, we're just upgrading the firmware that's on the board itself. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open up original version, and then we want to go ahead and grab this bottom one. Um, it's the Marlin 2.0.1, uh, the English version. So we we'll want to put that on our SD card. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my SD card here. Uh, delete my old file I was working with and transfer the new one over then once this is transferred over we want to rename it to firmware.bin 
If you don't rename it, it's not going to pick up the file. All right, and then we'll go ahead and inject this and then we'll jump over to the printer and go ahead and update the firmware. Uh, the process is much easier on the 32-bit boards than the 8-bit. Uh, with the 8-bit, we had to install the bootloader and then actually push the firmware not using an SD card. So there's a little bit more to it. Uh, just make sure that you're getting the right firmware version. If you have any question about the board that you're using or if you're grabbing the right firmware package, take the extra time to make sure because if you push the wrong package, you could end up doing... Um, pretty bad damage to the printer in some cases it might just not take the file in other cases it could potentially uh, cause issues where uh, you pretty much brick the board uh, so just make sure to take a little bit of extra time make sure you get the right version if you have any questions on it uh, you can go ahead and leave a comment below or go ahead and join our discord channel and I'll try to help you out it's not bad you just want to make sure you get the right one and I showed you how to get the exact board version a little bit ago in the video all right, so first I wanted to show you how to get the version that you're currently on. Um, if we go into our menu, go down to About Printer, we'll see that we're on Marlin, we're on the version 101 build from Creality, and the build date was 425.20. And I was hoping it would actually have the board in here as well, but it doesn't, so that was kind of uh, annoying, but it is what it is. Um, but that's what you need to see. Uh, I believe that the version we just put on the SD card is actually going to be the same version because it's 101. But if you're on the, I uh, think they had a 0 0.05 version that it was shipping for a while, you'd want to upgrade to uh, the 101. But we'll walk through that process really quick. The actual process of uploading the firmware to the printer is really straightforward. We'll just take the firmware.bin file that we just put on our SD card, go ahead and enter into the SD port, and turn the printer on. Now it's going to pull in the updated firmware. Uh, you'll see the screen stay blue for a couple seconds, and then it's going to reboot again, and then it's going to have the updated firmware on it. All right, now we can go and take out the SD card, and I like to turn the printer back off and back on again. All right, so the firmware upload was complete. Uh, I think if we go back through here, we're going to see pretty much the same thing because it was the same version. Uh, yeah, it is the version 101, just like I expected. Uh, but if again, if you're going from a previous version or you're trying to get a different version of the uh, standard Creality firmware, um, this is going to be where you'll be looking. And then uh, I personally like to just grab the latest firmware, even if it's already on there, just in case. Sometimes they have uh, minor bug fixes in there, even if it's the same version. Um, I just typically upgrade the firmware as soon as I get something new uh, out of habit. Alright guys, so that's the process of updating the firmware. As you're able to see in the video, I was already on the latest firmware. It shipped with that. Um, this printer was manufactured in, I think it was December 2020, it showed it on the box. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me that it came with the latest firmware. But a lot of the Creality printers aren't going to have the latest firmware on it, so understanding the base upgrade process I think makes sense. Uh, this process is pretty much uh, the same for all of the Ender line uh, plus your uh, CR10s I believe. Uh, if you have any questions about the process or like any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Or you can join us on our Discord server. Thanks.